Almost a year after Cynthia Carver disappeared, the man accused in her death appeared before a judge. Carver's disappearance prompted a month-long search for her body. James Goodwin is charged with first-degree murder. 13 News Now reporter Megan Prier brings us new information from the courtroom. The judge certified that first degree murder charge in a very tense courtroom today as Cynthia Carver's mother had to testify against her daughter's accused killer. Cynthia was last seen alive on the night of February 21st when she dropped her daughters off at a babysitter's house. Her mother, Anne, took the stand today and said she knew something was wrong on February 22nd when she drove by Cynthia's house and saw her door wide open. Anne says when she got to the door, she called out for Cynthia and saw a pool of blood on the floor. Investigators testified they found a knife in front of the sofa and drag marks from the sofa to the back door as well as an acrylic nail. On March 19th, police found Cynthia's body off a path in the woods on Wyan Oak Trail in Suffolk. Carver's children helped make a break in the case when they told investigators they heard Cynthia say the name Little James, leading investigators to search Carver's Facebook page. An affidavit says Carver called Goodwin on Facebook Messenger about an hour before she vanished. Investigators say when they initially interviewed James Goodwin, he said he never saw Cynthia that night and later changed his answer, saying he did see Cynthia, but he never left his car. The Commonwealth attorney said forensic scientists found Goodwin's DNA on the knife and under Carver's nail inside of her home. And Goodwin will face a judge again as this case moves forward to circuit court on March 26th. In Southampton County, I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now. Let's take a deeper look at Cynthia Carver's case. February 21st, it will be a year since Carver was last seen alive. She dropped off her children at the babysitter's house and then didn't show up for work the next day. The FBI started investigating this as an abduction after finding blood all over her home. Carver's body was found in southern Suffolk at the end of March. Then, three months later, a break in the case leads investigators to arrest James Goodwin. Court documents showed Carver and Goodwin had connected through Facebook Messenger.